Will everyone please rise? We're going to begin with grand entry with Yaman Suit Drum, followed, the students followed in by Wilbert Michelle and Linda King.
Thank you, Yaman Suit. If everyone will please remain standing. We will have our invocation by Tony Inkashola, the Salish Pondere Culture Committee Director. Before I say a prayer, I'd like to congratulate all the graduates, congratulate the parents, friends, people who supported these people to get where they are today. As we say our prayer this morning, remember those who made it possible for us to be here today, our parents, our grandparents, our ancestors. Education starts from the day you were born. Education will not end until you leave this earth. Education is one of the biggest tools, biggest weapons that we have. We need to take advantage of it. Again, as I say prayer, think about those people who supported you, who guided you, and who made it possible so that you may be here today. Although life is hard, the Creator looks upon us and helps us in time of need. We all must journey in our lives. In our lives, we journey with the belief that the Creator is by our side at all times. As your parents, your grandparents, your friends were you, by your side while you were getting to this point in your life and education. We ask the Creator today to look upon each and every one of us, especially the graduates who have learned so many things in their short period, in their short lives. We ask the Creator to look upon our elders and continue to give them the, the life that they deserve, that they may walk peacefully and happy on this earth. We ask the Creator to look upon each and every one of our children, our future generations, that Creator gives them the guidance, the encouragement, and the wisdom needed to reach the same goals as our graduates today. We ask the Creator to look upon all of our teachers, all of our leaders, all of those who helped create leaders, to create good members in our society, that Creator look upon them and continue to give them hope. As we look upon our graduates today, we see hope, we see pride, we see dreams of our ancestors. We see many things. As you graduate today, please keep in mind the things that you have accomplished, the things that you opens the door for the next future generations and also for your future. Yet, 
Thank you. Please be seated. Next, I would like to welcome and introduce to you the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes Tribal Chairman, Mr. Joe Durglow. Thank you, Wayne. Th thank you, Tony, for that prayer. Thank you, uh, Yum Soup, for, for bringing us in and bringing all our hearts together. Good morning. Welcome to the 2013 Salish Kootenai College graduation. It's good to see our community come out and support their graduates. Community support is an important way to show our commitment to education. Your excitement for these graduates brightens everyone's day. Graduates. I hope you look over this crowd and see who is here with you. We are all happy for you, and this is a time to celebrate. People in our community share your commitment to education. There is a growing need for more professionals as the tribes take on more and more active roles in the management of their resources. We look forward to your contributions in managing our lands, our government, and wildlife. Be proud of your successes. The skills you developed at SKC have prepared you for the opportunities that will be coming. Your community has already benefited and will continue to benefit from your academic success and accomplishments. Doors will open for you, and because of that, you are carving a path for others in your community to follow. Your graduation is an educational milestone and now you are better prepared to meet the challenges of the future. You've done good. And now that you're better educated, I'll end with you've done well. Lem Lem Spesia. Ki suk yukit, kapinis ker, hes ha ha pesia. Good day to everyone. On behalf of the faculty, the staff, administration, and the board of directors, I would like to welcome all of you to the graduation ceremony of the 2013 Salish Kootenai College graduating class. I would like to thank all of the families, the friends, and special guests for being here today to share in this day of celebration. At this time, if there are any tribal council, could you please stand? If we can please give them a pause for all their hard work on council. <laughs> Salish Kootenai College is chartered by the tribe, uh, and, and that makes us a tribal college, and we're very proud of that. At this time, if there are any Salish Kootenai College Board of Director members, if you could please rise. would like to thank you. Thank you for all your hard work and your, your volunteer work. Thank you. Today we take the time to congratulate those who have worked hard toward their ultimate life goals. For some, their goals have been reached, while others have taken an important step on their journey. Either way, we all want to celebrate the efforts of these students and let them know how very proud we are of all of their accomplishments. So with that, to those who have traveled from other places, we welcome you to the beautiful Mission Valley. I hope that you are able to experience some of the local culture and recreation while you are here. I also want to let you know how proud we are at Salish Kootenai College of all of our students' accomplishments. For Salish Kootenai College, today marks our first graduating class of students 
in our newest degree of the Tribal Historic Preservation Program. Yay. I want to close by saying thank you to all of those who, with, with great care, orchestrated this graduation ceremony. I want to thank you to the maintenance crew, security, enrollment services, financial aid, and all the faculty and staff who helped out. The graduation committee works hard to ensure that this is a memorable day for all of the graduates, and we're very proud of each and every one of you. Thank you and congratulations to the Salish Kootenai College graduating class of 2013. Next, we have the student address, our president of the Salish Kootenai College Student Senate, Sierra Kennedy. I'd like to do a brief introduction on Sierra. Sierra Little Fawn Kennedy comes to us from Bishop, California. She is Owens Valley Paiute and Timbishu Shoshone, enrolled in the Bishop Paiute tribe. Sierra was born to Carlinda Keller and Joe Kennedy but she was primarily raised by her maternal grandmother, Shirley Maddox Sierra, the third eldest of 10. She has four sisters and five brothers. Sierra decided to attend Salish Kootenai College on a complete whim after a good friend convinced her during a summer road trip that Salish Kootenai College was a school for her. Sierra applied online and in just a matter of three weeks she was making the journey of 1,070 miles across to Pablo, Montana, a place she had never visited before. As soon as Sierra stepped foot on Salish Kootenai College campus, she instantly fell in love and has been here ever since. She will be receiving her Associate of Arts in Business Management today and will continue pursuing her bachelor's degree here at Salish Kootenai College. Once Sierra obtains her bachelor's degree, she plans on continuing with her education by applying to graduate school and striving toward her master's in business administration and Juris Doctorate. Welcome Sierra, please. Manahui Ninamadoi, Nu Sierra Little Fon Kennedy Nania, Pisapu Awadu Nu Agimana, Onaho Paihoop Awadu Nu Agimana. Good afternoon, friends and relatives. My name is Sierra Little Fon Kennedy. I'm from Bishop, California. I'm Owens Valley Paiute and Timbisha Shoshone. On behalf of myself and the Salish, Co Salish Kootenai College graduates, I would like to welcome you to this year's graduation ceremony and also extend my gratitude for your presence and support here today. Most importantly, I would like to congratulate and express my pride in Salish Kootenai College's graduating class of 2013. <sighs> wow, so how many of you never thought you'd live to see this day? Come on, I know more of you thought the world was gonna end in December. Urban? <laughs> um, luckily, the Mayan prediction was wrong and we're able to gather here today and celebrate our accomplishments. Whether you are receiving a certificate of, a, of completion, an associate's degree, or a bachelor's degree, you should be extremely proud of yourself for having overcome a huge milestone in your life. For many of us, the road here has been rocky, full of sleepless nights, stressful days, and one too many homework assignments. We've all debated with our instructors, argued amongst ourselves, and probably even came really close to completely giving up. But we didn't give up. <clears throat> Instead, we were able to turn to our instructors for help, find support in one another, and achieve exactly what we strive to do when deciding to attend S Salish Kootenai College. We've all had to work very hard to guarantee a seat in today's ceremony. And so I hope as you sit here, you are able to look back on all of the sacrifices you made and smile. <clears throat> because there is no greater joy than overcoming the challenges we are faced with. And each and every one of us has accomplished something great. 
but we couldn't have done it alone. If it weren't for all of the love and support that, it, that we have received from our family and friends, as well as the SKC faculty and staff, we wouldn't be here today. So please take a brief moment to consider everyone who has lent you a helping hand, and then remember to thank them afterwards. Some of us will continue our education while others are closing that chapter and starting something new. But regardless of the direction you are going, I have confidence that each and every one of you will be successful in your pursuits. You have proven your dedication and determination by obtaining higher education here, and I hope that through this journey you have built your confidence and your ability <coughs> to achieve anything that your hearts desire. The knowledge and experience we have gained here at Salish Kootenai College has done a tremendous job at preparing us for a bright future. And as, we should and as we should be proud and appreciative of SKC and all that it entails, Salish Kootenai College should also be proud to announce such strong, intelligent, and extremely motivated graduates. So as we, the graduating class of 2013, sit here grounded in tradition, let's get ready to charge into the future and show the world just what SKC is all about. Congratulations, graduates. Excellent address, Sierra. Thank you. The next person I would like to introduce is our commencement speaker. For those of you who do not know our guest speaker, Jason Smith, he is not only the Director of Indian Affairs for the Montana Governor's Office, he once sat in the very seats that you're sitting in today. So I would like to give you a brief bio on Jason. Jason was appointed by the Governor Steve Bullock to serve on his cabinet as State Director of Indian Affairs in January 2013. He brings years of experience working with tribes. Prior to his appointment, he worked at the Montana Department of Commerce as the State Tribal Economic Development Program Manager. During the 2009 Montana State Legislature, he served as Chief of Staff to the Montana Indian Caucus. Before that, he served as executive assistant to the chairman of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes of the Flathead Reservation. He also worked at the Native American Development Corporation in Billings. Jason graduated from Salish Kootenai College with a Bachelor of Arts in Business Entrepreneurship in 2006. Jason is an enrolled member of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes and a descendant of the Assiniboine and Sioux tribes of Fort Peck. He is a son of Monica Kayai and Leonard Smith. Please welcome Jason Smith. Before I start, I, I just wanted to say I'm so honored to be here with you today. I love this college, and I really do believe in you guys. I know you will do great, great things. <clears throat> I am honored to be here with you today on this special day. To the Board of Trustees, distinguished alumni, members of the faculty and staff, devoted parents, family, and friends, welcome to the Salish Kootenai College Class of 2013. Congratulations. My name is Jason Smith, and I am an enrolled member of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes. I am proud to be Kootenai, Assiniboine, and Sioux. I was raised in Elmo, and I am a graduate of the Salish Kootenai College. I am sure you didn't expect to have a former graduate speaking to you as a keynote speaker. Well, let me tell you, I am the same boat as you because I didn't expect to be on the stage as the keynote speaker. Take a minute to look around the auditorium. Look at all the people who may have traveled many miles to see you graduate or spent their last dollar to be a part 
of your special day. And let's remember those who couldn't be with us here today, whoever or wherever those loved ones are, they will always be with you in your heart. For those here and for those people in our hearts, we are all here today to celebrate your important accomplishment. We are so proud of you. You have come here on different paths. Some may have come right out of high school. Some have journeyed back here after spending time in the workforce. Some are single parents. Some are married couples. And even some are grandparents. But all of you have made the journey here looking for an improved life. Each and every one of you was inspired to graduate. You have, focus, you have faced obstacles and challenges and have kept on your path to obtain your education, to enrich your mind, to obtain a better job, to better your life, the lives of your family, and ultimately your entire community. I owe my success in life largely to the family and to this institution of higher education called Salish Kootenai College, or should I say, the Harvard of tribal colleges. But I guess I'm a little biased. I know how you're feeling today because I was here six years ago. I didn't have anyone to tell me how life outside college works or where to start. I stand here today to give you a fundamental formula that has helped me map out my success. You don't need a higher degree to follow this formula, and it is for free. How about that, free? Take advantage, because it may be the only free thing you get for the rest of your life. Except, of course, for the advice you hear when you make a mistake. And if you do, and if you do want a refund, I'll have to send you to Tracy McDonald. I'm just kidding, Tracy. In my journey, I have always relied on my culture, family, professional relationships, and inspiration to guide me where I am today. I remember I was at a ceremony, and my Uncle Willie pointed at me and raised his voice and said, one day you'll be standing here running this ceremony and teaching the children, so you better pay attention, listen, and learn these ways. I was so scared after his statement, but I suddenly realized the importance of my culture. I have relied on my culture through challenging times. On the days I feel lost, lonely, or doubtful, I travel home to sweat. Then I returned to Helena rejuvenated, happy, and inspired. When I started my educational journey here, I was a single father and working full time to provide for my son. One day when my son was nine years old, we passed the McDonald's restaurant and he asked for food. I couldn't buy him a Happy Meal, and I saw his sad little face as we drove by it it broke my heart, and I promised myself I would never be in that situation again. It was that determination to provide a better life for my son that kept me motivated in school. Graduates, keep in touch with the friends you have made here. Some will be lifelong friendships, and some will become professional collaborations. Someday you may have the opportunity to work with a former graduate to bring opportunities back to our college, community, family, or tribe. You will need these people in your life to help you through the tough battles we face in Indian country and to, ce and to celebrate your professional accomplishments. Besides the education you have received here, these relationships will be one of the most important resources you have. They will help you grow as a person, 
as a mother, as a father, as an employee, and yes, as a leader. I truly hope as you find, I truly hope as you find a career or if you move on to graduate school that you find a mentor or boss or line of work that inspires you to work or study that extra hour, travel that extra mile, or make that extra phone call. I remember a friend told me once she was sorry that I, I haven't found a job that inspired me. It made me a little upset. I thought she was flaunting her inspiration. Today I recognize she was only expressing her wish for me to find a career I was passionate about. I can tell you that I finally found that job. Find a career and a mentor that inspires you. In my journey, I was fortunate to have smart and kind mentors who guided me through my career. They were instrumental in my relationship building and skill development. The foundation of my career was established by my education and strengthened by my mentors. Today, I am the State Director of Indian Affairs for Governor Steve Bullock. I feel fortunate to be in this position, addressing many challenges and in facing Indian country and the state of Montana. I feel as prepared as one person can be, learning the state government process, countless numbers of issues, and the politics that come with it. I love this job and I will strive to make a difference because this is my passion. Good luck in your new journey and take your education to make a difference in your lives and for the future of our children. And remember, take time to thank your family and your friends who supported you through your life and tell them how much you love them. We need you and be comforted to know that the Creator will be with you as you move forward. Thank you. Next, we have the presentation of the 2013 Teacher of the Year by Alice Oxley the Salish Kootenai College Vice President of Academic Affairs. Before I have the pleasure of introducing our Teacher of the Year, I would like to recognize all faculty at Salish Kootenai College. They are a huge part of your success. Would you stand, please, faculty? Thank you. Um, each year, the American Indian College Fund um, makes an award to the Teacher of the Year in all of the tribal colleges. And we're very honored that this year, our Teacher of the Year is Donna Kodik. Since 1991, Donna Kodak has been Curriculum Development Coordinator, Dental Assisting Instructor, and Dental Assisting Program Director. As Program Director, Donna is responsible for program and curriculum development and implementation, creation of assessment tools, maintains budgets, provides public information, develops grants, acts as li liaison to agency programs. Donna was instrumental in designing an open entry, open exit, self-paced environment, which provides students an individualized learning experience. Clinical training is offered on site, in addition to 300 hours of clinical externships in private dental offices. Indian Health Services and tribal health clinics are integrated into the curriculum. In 2012, Donna implemented the conversion of the program's curriculum into an at-distance hybrid format. Donna recently returned from Barrow, Alaska, where she was asking the tribes up there what we can do to help them. 
also from South Carolina with a newly recognized tribe to see what we could do to help them. She's always thinking about helping the tribes and producing wonderful students. Donna Kodak also helped to develop a partnership with UCLA Dental School to run a pilot project to create a new dental profession called Community Dental Health Coordinator. Currently, Donna is on the board of directors for the Dental Assisting National Board, has been on the Dental Assisting Review Committee for the Commission on Dental Accreditation, and continues to represent the Commission on Dental Accreditation <coughs> as both a staff representative and a curriculum consultant. Donna is an outstanding role model. Her enthusiasm for the profession inspires students, staff, and faculty. She carries the mission of Salish Kootenai College in her heart and to outreach to Native American communities in her dedication to the success of future generations. Donna, just a minute. The American Indian College Fund 2013 Faculty Member of the Year, Donna Kodik, Salish Kootenai College, on behalf of the American Indian College Fund. Um, and a nice little bonus, they sent $500 for Donna. This is an incredible honor for the dental assisting department. And all of us, students, faculty, and staff from this department, really appreciate this special recognition. Lam Lam And um, before we continue, we have a presentation from uh, Cole Carew and Virgil Brave Rock. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, it's so The time is gone in the They say leaders are like eagles. You don't find them in flocks, but one at a time. Just as you graduates one day will be leaders in your field, in your reservations and communities and those that rely upon you. We, at one time, at Sailor Scrutiny College, found ourselves in a situation, or unpredictable situation, where we were without a leader. And we looked at each other. And one of ours, faculty, staff, leader, stepped forward and took that helm and brought us through a time of change, a time when Salish Kootenai College was growing and we as a faculty, staff, and students needed someone to lead us. This individual brought us through a time of challenge and persevered through all the things that a leader has to face and stood before us faculty and staff and students and led us like a leader and gave us someone to look forward to and up to to lead us through a time and to give the students and everyone someone that we can call our leader. I'm very happy and proud to have been able to be under leadership 
of Elaine Frank, who was our acting leader through this past year, academic year, and persevered with us as Indian people in this Indian college. And yes, we are a milestone. We are the gem of Indian colleges. We stand proud of all our students that we have put hours and days of learning. And as a faculty member of the Sailor Scrutiny College Social Work Program, but not only myself, but all the faculty members here and staff that relied upon her leadership, I want to thank Elaine for being our leader and standing up in front of us and guiding us through a time when we needed a leader. So I want to thank you, Elaine, for being the one that sometimes had to face the ridicule, but, but you stood there before us as a leader would. And I thank you on behalf of the staff and faculty and all our students for what you have done for us. Thank you, everyone. It, this was unexpected. Um, I haven't done this by myself. All the faculty, the staff, uh, the board of directors, the support from council, it's been wonderful. I wouldn't change a thing. I'm, I'm honored to have served as the interim vice or president of Sailor Scrutiny College. So thank you. <laughs> Next is a presentation of the honorary degrees. Today we have two honorary degrees. It's my distinct honor to award these. For those of you who don't know what an honorary degree is, at Salish Kootenai College, we have this special degree for people who have made not only a difference for the college, but are the essence of what SKC is about. They're exemplary in what they do each and every day. Louise Andrew for the honorary degree in Native American Studies for 2013. A little bit about Louise. Louise Andrew was born on September 27, 1934. She is a fluent speaker of Kootenai and grew up in the Nairata area, learning her language and culture from her parents, Mary and Charlie Andrew, and her grandparents, Susan and Abraham Bullrobe. Louise went to school at the Ursuline Academy in St. Ignatius. She has worked at a variety of jobs in the forestry field, including tree planting and post and polling. She was the first woman to lead an all-woman forest firefighting squad, affectionately known as the Broad Squad. More, more recently, Louise worked as a consultant for the Tribal Preservation Program, going on field trips to identify and map Kootenai place names. She currently works as a Kootenai language consultant for the Kootenai Culture Committee. She is also on the Kootenai Elders Advisory Committee. Louise participates in the language and culture camps at the Culture Committee and People Center, where she helps to teach young students how to cut and dry meat, how to speak the Kootenai language, and the importance of all aspects of Kootenai culture. Louise is a Bitterroot leader for the Kootenai and enjoys gathering every May to teach the young people the importance of the traditional Kootenai food and how to dig it and clean it. She also enjoys picking huckleberries. 
Louise enjoys spending time with her children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, and is doing her best to teach them the language. She has a great concern about the future of the Kuni language and culture, and would like to encourage all young people to learn whatever they can. Louise Andrew, Honorary Degree of Native American Studies, will you please come up? Thank you. I'm glad to be here to receive this. I'm just nervous and so happy about it. And I am trying to teach the younger people to talk the Kootenai language. It's the most important thing on your culture. I'm so afraid to leave the search without my children known, known to talk their own Kootenai language. You want to learn, I'll be there to help you along, especially my children, great-grandchildren, and all my husband. Thank you all. God bless you all. The next honorary degree in Native American Studies for 2013 goes to Catherine Andrew. Catherine Andrew was born in St. Ignatius on the 9th of June, 1937, to Mary and Charlie Andrew. She was raised in Nairata by her parents and her grandparents, Susan and Abraham Bullrobe, and learned Kootenai language and culture from them. Catherine received her education at the Ursuline Academy in St. Ignatius and appreciates all that she learned there. Catherine has worked at a variety of jobs, including treeing and other forestry work. One of her most recent and enjoyable jobs was working with an elderly outreach program where she helped the elders schedule medical appointments, home maintenance services, and generally provided any assistance she could to the elders' lives to make it easier. She also worked for the Tribal Preservation Program on the Kootenai Place Names Project. She currently works as a Kootenai Language Consultant for the Kootenai Culture Committee and helps on a variety of language projects. She has taught language classes at the tribal complex and culture camps. She is a patient and encouraging teacher and her sense of humor makes her classes enjoyable for all of her students. Catherine is a highly fluent speaker of Kootenai and believes it is very important for the young people today to try and learn their language. Catherine has worked hard over the years, both teaching and producing language materials to ensure that the Kootenai language is passed on. Today to accept Catherine Andrews' honorary degree in Native American Studies is Vernon Finley. Next, we have the presentation and awarding of the diplomas for the 2013 class by Alice Oxley. <laughs> Distinguished guests, um, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, faculty and staff, I present to you the graduating class of 2013.
do that. Yeah. In the front is fine. Okay. First, our first graduating class of Tribal Historic Preservation. We have Angela May Ayux, Associate of Arts in Tribal Historic Preservation. Melanie Manuel, Associate of Arts, Tribal Historic Preservation. Congratulations. Catherine Rose McDonald, Associate of Arts, Tribal Historic Preservation. Regina Faye Madplume, Associate of Arts, Tribal Historic Preservation. Congratulations. Stephen Ashley, Associate of Science, Hydrology. Robert Charles Davis, Associate of Science, Hydrology. <laughs> Jacob Samuel Feistner, Associate of Science, Hydrology. <laughs> Matthew J. Friedlander, Bachelor of Science, Computer Engineering. Adriana J. Decock, Bachelor of Science, Secondary Education, Broadfield Science. Elizabeth Louise DeRoche, Bachelor of Science, Secondary Education, Broadfield Science. Raquel Lynn Littleplume, Bachelor of Science, Secondary Education, Broadfield Science. Tricia S. Olinger, Bachelor of Science, Secondary Education, Broadfield Science. <laughs> Melalee K. Small, Bachelor of Science, Secondary Education, Broadfield Science. Cecilia Ann Arnault, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Tara L. Avila, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. George Michael Madplume, Bachelor of Arts, Madman. I'm sorry, George Michael Madman, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Brianna V. Couture, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Anita Diane Harrison, Associate of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Melissa Mock, Associate of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Kyler Retz. Associate of Arts, Psychology. Donna Lou Pace, 
Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Rachel M. Big Sam, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Michelle Marie Brown, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Sally Ann Jack, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Mary S. Pierre, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Michelle Dawn Williamson, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Lana Burns, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Carla J. Whitegrass, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Hey, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Marie Tail Feathers, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Heidi Lee Spotted Bear, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Christopher J. Morjo, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Franny Victoria Mall. Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. <laughs> Michelle Mitchell, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Melissa N. McKeldry, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Anastasia, yeah, like the movie. <laughs> Anastasia D. Incashola, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Emerald Zarai Green, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. <laughs> Olivia N. Asensio, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. <laughs> William Vincent Bass, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. <laughs> Alicia Denault, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Amy Dixon, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Sunny Ray Dixon, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Elizabeth A. Jordan, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Burdette Burdenground, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Terrestrial Resources. Yeah. 
Desiree LaRache, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Terrestrial Resources. I am. John Thomas Young, Bachelor of Science, Forestry. Louis T. Moses, Bachelor of Science, Forestry. Irene J. Martinez, Bachelor of Science, Forestry. Brandon Francis Garrity, Bachelor of Science, Forestry. <laughs> Carrie Falgren Pruitt, Bachelor of Science, Forestry, Wildland Fire. Harvey Pierre Sansevier, Associate of Science, Environmental Science, Terrestrial Resources. <laughs> Thomas Talbol, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Fisheries and Wildlife. Cody Natani Sifford, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Terrestrial Resources. Rihanna M. Marchand, Associate of Science, Forestry, and Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Terrestrial Resources. Yeah. Thank you. Sean de France, Associate of Science, Forestry. Yeah. Bennett Claire Everett Jr., Associate of Science, Forestry. Robert Andrew Christopher Jensen, Associate of Science, Forestry. Yeah. Bruce Maestas, Associate of Science, Forestry. Matthew Stephen Weingart, Associate of Science, Forestry. Danielle L. Green, Bachelor of Social Work. Neil McGill, Eastern Shoshone, Bachelor of Social Work. Elizabeth Jean Swope, Bachelor of Social Work. Faith Tall White Man, Bachelor of Social Work. Yes. <laughs> Urban Bear Don't Walk, Bachelor of Arts, Business Entre Entrepreneurship. <laughs> Carly Maria Bird, Bachelor of Arts, Business Entrepreneurship. <laughs> A 
Alicia N. Ladd, Bachelor of Arts, Business Entrepreneurship. Marshall Allen Pablo, Bachelor of Arts, Business Entrepreneurship. Shanona V. Greif, Associate of Arts, Business Management. <laughs> Sierra Little Fawn Kennedy, Associate of Arts, Business Management. <laughs> Abigail Rose Luke, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Nicole Elizabeth Pierre, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Bo L. Prairie Bear, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Elena Harine Roberts, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Brenda L. Stapley, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Catherine Addison, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Callie A. Simons, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. <laughs> April L. Charlo, Associate of Science, Nursing. Melinda Cochran, Associate of Science, Nursing. Ready? Jennifer Rose Moran, Associate of Science, Nursing. Autumn Nelson, Associate of Science, Nursing. Shelly Oley, Associate of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Rennell Lee Rose, Associate of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Natasha Renee Sinclair, Associate of Science, Nursing. Mark A. Sneed, Associate of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Colleen Underwood Wilson, Associate of Science, Nursing. <laughs> Andrea K. Ware, Associate of Science, Nursing. Sean Duback, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Brandon Liber Lim Limberhand, Associate of Science, Information Technology, and Bachelor of Science, Information Technology.
Robert Emmett O'Connor, Associate of Science, Engineering Graphics, Associate of Science, Information Technology, and Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Yep. Jessica L. Parker, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Antoine Paul, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Hey, Thomas. Thomas Charles Fleming, Associate of Science, Information Technology. Robert M. Sanchez, Associate of Science, Information Technology. Cody Lee James Bosler, Associate of Applied Science, Media Design. Adrian N. Gilson, Associate of Applied Science, Media Design. <laughs> Jamie Lee Cahoon, Bachelor of Science, Life Science. <laughs> Wash Taylee Smiley, Bachelor of Science, Science Life. Loretta L. Gray Cloud, Associate of Science, General Science. Trey Sadler, Associate of Science, General Science. Kayla Johnson. Associate of Arts, Fine Arts. <laughs> Kenneth Edmo, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts. <laughs> Sean Paul Jubb, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts. Christopher Left Hand, Certificate of Completion, Native American Studies. Yeah. Isaac Wall, Associate of Applied Science, Business Technology. Eileen yeah. <laughs> Ray. Well-known Associate of Applied Science, Business Technology. <laughs> Felicia L. Higgins, Certificate of Completion, Dental Assisting Technology. <laughs> Courtney Morlas. Certificate of Completion, Dental Assisting Technology. <laughs> Kayani Murphy, Associate of Applied Science, Dental Assisting Technology. <laughs> Rocky Reynolds, Certificate of Completion, Dental Assisting Technology. Caitlin Stinger, Certificate of Completion, Dental Assisting Technology. Yeah. Jolene Graves, Certificate of Completion, Office Professions, Certificate of Completion, Medical Office Clerk.
Travis Pierre, Certificate of Completion Office Professions and Certificate of Completion Medical Office Clerk. <laughs> Joanna K. White Plume, Certificate of Completion Office Professions and Certificate of Completion Medical Office Clerk. Jenna Lee Weatherwax, Certificate of Completion, Medical Office Clerk. Yeah, Jenny. Anthony Scott Cheney, Certificate of Completion, oh, wow. Highway Construction Training. Fabian G. Denault, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. <laughs> Anthony L. Evans, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. Handle, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. <laughs> Brian Hikins, Certi Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. <laughs> Don R. Poole, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. Glenn Allen Jorgensen, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. Rick D. Lund, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. Justin L. McBroom, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. Ronald Steady, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. Dennis Eisen, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. Congratulations, graduates, class of 2013. Your family is supportive and proud of you. We're supportive and proud of you. Go out and continue your good work. We have a close, closing prayer from Vernon Finley. That's okay. The first thing you do when you come into this earth is you breathe. And the last thing you do before you leave here you breathe. And all of those in between mark your road, the path that you take throughout your life. And oftentimes it's a very difficult path, and oftentimes it's a very joyous path. But along the way, 
It is always good to stop and to pause and to look back at your road that you've recently traveled and to say thank you. Thank you for it. And it is always especially wonderful when your family and your friends and your acquaintances, people who have watched you through a particular part of your journey to step up and to say, well done, well done. And then you can continue on. Those times of transition from one phase to another are very important times, are very blessed times, are very sacred times. And so on behalf of the tribes here, on behalf of the Kootenai Culture Committee, on behalf of all of the people who are here to witness your transition today, we want to take the time to congratulate you, say thank you, and especially thank you for being a part of it, for being a part of your accomplishment, for being a part of that important time. And so today in this transitional time, we ask the Creator for help. Creator, we ask to watch over the graduating class of 2013 and all of their family and friends who have come to witness this event. We ask that you Return them safely. Return them safely to their homes. That they find their homes exactly as they left it. Creator, we ask that you place on their road good health, plenty of good food, and all the material things that they need in order to live a long and happy life. We thank you for this day when we were able to pause for a moment and to celebrate their accomplishments and to celebrate the transition of one phase of their life to the next. We ask that you look in on the families that are going through other types of transitions, the transitions of loved ones moving on from this world to the next. We ask that you take care of the children, help them to watch what is going on, and to put it into their heart to take a similar path. We ask that you take care of our elders, We're pitiful. We're pitiful in the amount of knowledge that we have in front of the knowledge that the elders have. We ask that you keep them with us long enough that we can learn as much as possible from them so that we can continue it on and pass it on to future generations. And so in this day of transition, we thank you for the opportunity to take the time to celebrate and to assist with the transitions from one phase of life to the next. 
Thank you for your words, Dr. Finley. I want to congratulate the class of 2013. Job well done. We're all very proud of you. Now we will have the honor dance and exit. Graduates, if you will please follow Wilbert Michelle and Linda King. Chief Cliff, 